butter up buttercups because it's gonna be a bumpy ride and mikey dub is back we're here doing a new borderlands three farm challenge this is gonna be the lucky seven and the stack bot the lucky seven is a jacob's pistol that has the effect of giving you random bonuses every time you reload but the next time you reload you lose the bonuses with flak if you roll the right bonuses this gun can go absolutely crazy the bonuses we're mainly concerned about is the first slot and the last slot every time you reload the lucky seven you get a different bonus and you can see what bonuses you get by watching closely on the right side of your screen next to your weapon right there i got zero out of five bonuses the first bonus is auto crit so as long as i shoot hit this target i will crit and when you're playing flak every time you crit you get your action skill back faster and you get bonus ammunition added to your magazine or a chance to so watch my action skill cooldown as i hit these shots it's going up faster and faster but i have to be careful not to shoot all my shots because if i reload i lose the bonuses i reload and i now this time i rolled crit and fully automatic number three crit and fully automatic so the bonuses we are looking for is actually the first one auto crits and the final one which i call lucky seven which gives your weapon a different pellet spread so if you look closely you can see the seven pattern from the lucky seven bonus that you get very cool so if you combine the crit and the lucky seven together you can get your action skill back very very quickly and you can be adding ammunition back to your magazine a lot while playing as flak so with the lucky seven what you want to do is you want to sit outside combat reloading this weapon until you get the bonuses you want which brings me to my first point about this god roll farm this god roll on loot lemon is actually not what we are looking for at all in fact we are looking for grip number one the not damage one we want the bonus reload speed and hammer number one for bonus reload speed even though when we do enter the heat of battle we will never be reloading it's getting to that point that's hard with the lucky seven so we want to get bonus reload speed i the damage will come the damage is there if we get the right bonuses so we're going to be farming in max reload speed lucky seven it doesn't stop there because in order to maintain the lucky sevens magazine you have to get this specific anoint while terrified gain ammo regeneration the more terror you have the higher the bonus so because this is a terror anointment which is a little bit different than regular anointments i decided to whip up this table to show you what the actual odds are of getting a specific terror anointment on your weapon and on your weapon it is a 1 in 70 chance of rolling a terror anointment and if you try to use the re-roller your expected iridium cost is going to be 17,500 to get a specific terror anointment it is worth noting though that you don't need to get this terror anointment on the lucky seven itself shields can also roll the ammo regeneration while terrified anointment so if you just hit up a vending machine for a little bit you can find something like this stopgap that gives you while terrified gain ammo regen and speaking of farming the vendors you're going to want to hit up another vendor for your grenade anointment which should say on action skill and applied terror to yourself every three seconds for the next 18 seconds the odds of rolling a shield anointment in the vendor is 1 in 33 and the odds of rolling the grenade anointment in the vendor is 1 in 17 so this really don't, doesn't take that much time and it can save you a ton of iridium by just getting it from the vendors but if you want to get these specific anointments on a shield you already have it might cost you a bunch of iridium or some runs uh, to go get a new version so if you get yourself a shield with wild terrified gain ammo regen and a grenade on action skill and apply terror to yourself you can effectively maintain the lucky sevens magazine you can see the terror effect building around me here there's one stack two stacks and then when it gets really big that's three stacks we can go ahead and hit a bunch of crits to try to get our action skill back much faster and by the time the terror starts going away, we can already get our action skill going again. And this just gets amplified every time we roll a bonus on the lucky seven that we want to roll. So once again, we're looking for our one for automatic crits and five for seven shots. So here's seven shots and automatic. You can see how when you use automatic, even at three terror stacks, we can get very we can very easily accidentally reload our weapon. So unfortunately, we cannot maintain the fully automatic version despite how much we can try um if you're really careful about it you can burst it but i typically do not want to get fully automatic on mine i like that carefree lucky seven that has the crit damage and 
Lucky 7 combined. You could be here for a while trying to reload this. There we go. Crit and Lucky 7 combined. When you activate your action skill, you will be applying terror to yourself. And then when you mash, you get your action skill back so quickly. Look at this combo. Action skill. Action skill. I mean, come on. That's, that's three shot fade away instantaneously. And you can hit them anywhere on the body. That is the Lucky 7 we are going for. You say, well, you already have... Um, the combo like why do you need to go for it one i want a max reload lucky seven and two i want a lucky seven with the anointment on on it the ammo regen anointment on it right now it's on my shield but i want to be able to use different kinds of shields like a revolter if, if i can use a revolter and have the ember gen on my weapon instead that would be a lot better for me now you might be wondering about the second farm on the screen the stack bot well we are just getting started the stack bot is a legendary black class mod that gives you stacking weapon damage every time you hit an enemy when you crit if you do not crit then you lose all of your stacks this stacks up to 99 times giving you 495 percent weapon damage you're allowed to miss but you're not allowed to not crit this has ridiculous synergy with the automatic crit version i can infinitely sustain this weapon and keep my damage scaling up 700,000. that's like four xing our damage is actually like almost yeah it's just ridiculous damage so for this farm we will be farming both the lucky seven and the stack bot at the same time let's get over to the trash compactor this is a bit of a decent way through dlc one if you haven't done it yet this is where we farm the lucky seven and the stack bot you're going to want to follow this path as i run through here underneath this keep clear sign Just give me one second while I um, reload my gun here a million times. Uh, yep, I'll see you. Okay, so I got one, five, and four. So I don't have an element, but I have splash damage and auto crit and lucky seven. I should be good enough. Let's get this job done. All right, I have a stop gap. Let's see how, if we can sustain this ammo regeneration. And also, I like to go, instead of gorillas in the mist, I like to go three shot fade away for this. And I still want... I still want blinking eye for when we have to try to shred the boss down. As you can see, my damage is unbelievable, and as I stack up my stack bot, it's gonna get like a way more out of hand. Now, I would like to get corrosive element on this as well, but this is how we're going to be farming this. And what's really nice about critting with a Jacob's weapon, see those ricochets? How it's just everything is spinning all around the place? It's because you're critting with a Jacob's weapon, and everything I do is gonna crit. And I'm allowed to miss with stack bot as long as I don't throw a grenade. As long as I don't throw a grenade, like, I'm even allowed to go down. I'm even allowed to go down and I keep my anointment. As long as I use my action skill every once in a while. And I can cleanse these fools. Now, I could run a schluter, but I actually am more interested in the Lucky 7 with the proper anointment. And by the way, make sure you have the Bounty of Blood DLC or event turned on for this. I'm actually a little bit more... And I'd like to swap over to Revolter for this. Um, I should still be terrified. So I have the terror on still, and the revolt head just speeds up this kill so much faster. As long as I do not reload. There we go. Got my second wins. Let's see, I got my first lucky seven. Its reload speed is slightly slower than my own, but it's still a decent lucky seven, and I wouldn't mind getting a max damage one either. The it's the terror that's really the big issue for it. So let's grab that one. Very nice. We got our first run done, and in order to reset, and I'm also going to turn on gameplay auto so feature all the way up to epic, because then I can clear out this pile quickly. So run number one is complete, and we're going to swap over to this side of the arena and j jump back because it's the scrap trap farm. If you want to, well, I'm actually in trouble. I need to. So I can't reload my gun because it's only got one round left. I need to activate my action skill and let it time out and then get the ammo regen going. And get that ammo regen going. You let it time out. Don't, don't be stupid here and take a shot because then I lose my, lose my buffs. We get some terror going. The ammo regen should kick in once I activate, once I get my shield that gives me ammo regen back on. There we go. Here comes my ammo regen. And I can get right back into the swing of things. Now, I would very much like... The reason why this farm is so 
good because i really really want the terrified annoying to be on the lucky seven that way i can use a shield like the frozen heart for instance if i could use something like a, a revolter a super soldier instead of this ammo regen one then that would be a lot better for me overall that being said i could get a good anointment on my lucky seven as well like i'm while i'm farming this i'm looking for replacements for sure ow it is hard to get through this with with the bounty of blood uh dlc or the bloody harvest dlc active it is actually a lot harmer mobbing because of the fact that these skulls spawn but i want to get the terror anointment on my lucky seven and i don't want to farm iridium so here we are As long as I have my Lucky 7 at my at my hip, then I feel good about it. If you're wondering how I have such a large magazine, it's because we're rocking the Jacob's Company Man. It gives me mag size plus 40%. This is not even the best roll you can get. You can get even better. The yeah, Jacob's Company Man. Makes this a lot easier. Now, I would love to be able to rock the fully automatic version of this gun. But unfortunately, it's just not in the cards. Don't reload. Don't reload. I need the ammo regen back, unfortunately. Having, having to swap between these is why we need it so, so badly. Okay, action skill. Get my auto crits going. Take down Scrapchat Prime. There we go. Another run on the books. 50% chance. Nothing. Goodbye, badass ghosts. Okay, let's clear out this playing field a little bit. Chaos. Remember, when you pick up weapons with this auto sell feature on you can clear out the, your playing field a little bit two runs deep and who knows how many more it's gonna have to be we can probably figure out a faster way to clear scrap trap prime than this we could try like revolter with my reflux to see if that goes a little bit better but i wanted to use the lucky seven for at least a little bit oh and i saved quit which means i lost my bonus see that you can accidentally do that all the time what you get all you gotta do is reload until you get bonuses you want so just crit not gonna be good enough i'll stay here and reloading for you guys keep in mind that when you're sprinting around you actually cannot check your bonuses so if you want to be able to check your bonuses you gotta stop sprinting and at least walk okay so we got one seven and three hopefully it's corrosive or cryo uh fire not good all right keep rolling okay did you guys see that we got crit elemental and lucky seven what element is it shock Shock's not gonna get the job done. Dang it, I keep going. Now you see why reload speed is what we're going for more than anything. Oh, one and seven. I wanna get corrosive on it. This, we happy few, we lucky few. The lucky seven enjoyers, this is the price we pay. Yeah, every time I don't get lucky seven, I get corrosive. Drop a comment in the chat if you're a lucky seven enjoyer because I most certainly am. You know, I have half a mind to just bring my Mo's in here. And use my Rocketeer class mod and set Iron Bear to corrosive shots and just sit there and do nothing. I might do that for a few rounds. Oh, crit, elemental, lucky seven. Fire. Words cannot describe how much I hate the world right now. Get me a max reload lucky seven right now. Maybe if you pick something different to shoot at. This barrel is good luck right here. Guarantee. Oh, we got we got everything but automatic. Oh, it's shock. We'll try this out one time. And then we'll see if the shock can get the job done. That's pretty good with no stock back on. Get my terror up. So that way I can... Regen some ammo. The shock is doing okay. No one here has shields. It's almost, it almost better be have a fire one, I feel like. Here we are. Come on now. Later, kid. Focusing up. We want to get as many crit ricochets as we can. Which I should probably be famine and hammer a little bit more. To be honest with you. But with all these, these ghosts up in the sky, it becomes a little bit tricky. Get the job done. What I should probably do is throw on fadeaway and taunt. And fadeaway and movement speed and health regeneration. That makes sense to me and what i might do actually and this, this this might be a little bit crazy 
but I might even throw on Rack Attack. Use Rack Attack, get some get some Cryo Racks going with additional cooldown rates, and just because I I always crit anyways, I don't have to worry about being in fadeaway for crits, which is pretty insane. So maybe get some health regeneration going. All right, come on, Scrap Chat Prime, bring it on. Lucky seven with a terror anoint, please, is what I'm asking for. Okay, I'm gonna die to Scrap Chat Prime. It's impossible. I'll never die to Scrap Chat Prime. Okay, I, mean, I think we really do need a corrosive version of this. Okay, maybe we we swap it over to the Queen's Call. Queen's Call. We don't need the ammo regen for this. We instead, we just go Revolt her. We go full on damage here. Okay, I think Scrap Chat Prime should go down to that. If not, close. Yeah. Very cool. If we get the corrosive. If we get the corrosive roll on, I think that would go a lot better. So we don't get the legendary we're looking for. We're going to get this auto sell stuff off. And then what we're going to do is run down, reset the fight, do not save quit. Again, if you want to clear the playing field, what you can do is switch your Mayhem to 10 and then back to 11 if you want to play Mayhem 11, which I do. And then you'll reload from the save point, but you won't lose your Lucky 7 magazine. All right, so I'm going to continue reloading here. Oh, everything but two. So everything but fire rate. It's corrosive. Okay, everybody remain calm. Get ammo regen on as quickly as possible. Stopgap, a frag grenade. Okay, let's get this ammo regen popping. We got our stack bot. Is it the right stack bot that we want? Stack bot with pistol damage. Much better. Okay, here's the build. Do not swap off the lucky seven for any reason. Do not save quit for any reason. I'm blinking eye should be fine and let's get a pet out there have i have i not even had a pet out there i think what we want to have is this this laddie right here health regen and elemental damage and i think i will add a little bit more health regen remove some damage we want to stay alive in this fight going down this fight is embarrassing i don't want to do it all right good, good night stack up our stack bot do not throw a grenade for any reason do not use an action skill that isn't fade away because i think if you don't crit with your action skill reset stack bot so just stay focused gotta land shots kill ghosts it's bonus loot unfortunately we cannot really run schluter with this build but this is this is the build get yourself the right element and you just rip blast them Oh, getting hit with that it doesn't feel too good. Those ricochets going? Ricochet for me, please. Keep in mind that when we have a weapon that is being boosted in some way by Terrify, so right now our weapon is getting ammo regen back, we don't receive any of the negative effects from being terrified. Which is like weapon handling and like I, I think reload speed might be in there. Don't don't do that to me. Good night. All right, Scrap Chat Prime. Let's see what we can do with the Crossup one. Oh, much, much better. So much infinitely better. Very good. That's actually not even a bad farm anymore. Okay. Good. Now we have, we have the Lucky Seven that we that we want. Now we got all the rolls. Do we get Splash? I think we did get Splash. This is the God roll for this farm. Very nice. Let's clear the playing field a little bit, and then we will. Exit out this window and come back. Okay, what's one more run in the books? And I have a really nice run counter up there, guys. I think it's going to be a lot nicer overall to look at. So, the Lucky 7's a 1 in 1260 chance to run it with max reload and, and terror regen mod. Uh, and the... The stack bot's a 1 in 93 chance to get usable rolls in three of their slots. I didn't care so much about the skills, but to get usable rolls, um, it's about a 1 in 93 chance. So getting a Schluter, 
Like, the, not from the actual boss itself, but from any... If I see a stack bot on the ground, it's about a 1 in 93 chance. And this is a decent spot to run... Uh, farming. You can... You, you, you can put on a Schluter instead of a Jacob's Company man. So if I if I run Schluter, if if I'm if I, but I have to st immediately start watching my ammo consumption. Like yes, I can have Schluter going and it I can, f you know, maintain the ammo, but I'm going to have to immediately start thinking about my ammo way way more. I much prefer to have a Jacob's Company man on. Get that larger magazine because you get back 16% of your mag, I believe, um, every second when when you have terrified rank three. Can't even see him. So much carnage I'm doing. I mean that, that is the way most vault hunters are nowadays anyway. But good night. All right, lucky seven. It's reload slow. Its damage isn't good. That's not what we're looking for. We want the fastest reload we can get. Nice try on that lucky seven, though. The golden rule. That's another run. So th with this run counter, I can go up, I can go down, I can zero it out. It's beautiful, right? So we're at four now. I've got way more control over my runs, my run counter, which is amazing. Amazing. All right, clear the playing field. I could be doing this way faster, obviously. But I'm just excited to be, you know, using the gun we came here to use. All right, on my time of the recording, I've got 5150. So I know that I'm going to be spending a lot of time cutting a lot of the reload out or making it, you know, fast forward. So. All right, Scrap Trap, what you got? I got a lucky seven and a dream. Again, I would like to be able to run things like this. Like this Frozen Hearts. Because if I could use this Frozen Heart, it's tough because I'm not getting the ammo regen right now. With my shield off. There we go. You're shooting. I want to get. I want to show at least one Frozen Heart proc. With all these guys around me, I can just freeze them all and they go instantly goodbye bye. I can make this form a lot better if I had a lucky far a lucky seven. With the terror regen annoying, instead of having to put it on my shield. Because then I could also use like Revolter or something. So a lucky seven with terror anoint is what we're looking for. Totally number one. Red Fang? Ooh. That's a nice kit. I'm gonna start ripping through these guys a little bit faster now. I can make I can keep up the fire again. And it, it will eventually die. You can see I was getting down three, down the two, right? It will eventually die with the magazine, but it, you have to do it for so long, so long in order to make that happen. Here we go. Scrap trap down. See a lucky seven while well, fade away is active. That's a great roll. That's a great roll, but I don't want to sit here reloading my lucky seven. Okay, for next video, I will be slapping on this fadeaway lucky seven. If I don't get the terror anoint one. Yeah, I will between videos I will go ahead and I will I will re-farm or re-reload all the all the gear or all my lucky seven so that I can use it use that one. I mean I might even farm an even better one here. I wish I could turn legendaries on auto sale. I know that it's like absolutely heinous, but like, give me, give me the player, give me a chance to try it. Like, let me see if I can play the game with auto sale on, and every time I want to pick up something, I get to go. That'd be kind of nice. Okay, Let's clear the playing field, get a little bit richer here. It does slow me down quite a bit. Do not save quit. Do not save quit. Now, there are three scopes that you can roll with with the lucky seven. I want to go see the... This one... Oh, look at this little... Look at this optic. It's like a little one. That's that's not so bad. Compared to this one, which is a little bit bulkier. 
Okay, but I don't have a preference for the scope. I did not include it in my odds of getting a max reload. Terra Anoint Lucky 7. Okay, so this while acting skill or is active, but while fadeaway is active, I can be getting that nice bonus damage, which will also help me with my boss rotation. You know what I'm saying? Oh, go down. But the skulls make it a lot harder to do this farm. I can clear this much faster when the event is not active, but I really want to get that terror anoint again. The odds, the amount of radium you have to farm is about 14, 5, or 17,500. On average to get the terror anoint. And I do not want to have to do that. Now, if I get a max reload lucky seven, I'll consider it. So far, no dice. All these ghosts, I mean, they are intense. Well, I thought something like a reflux might be really good, but I've tried the reflux here. It doesn't seem that great. All right, let's go. Miss me, miss me. Now you gotta kiss me. Good night. Grab chat prime. Your days here were numbered. Let's see, a lucky seven with bare fist active, slow reload speed. Unfortunate. It really... You, could, you had so much potential. That's why this is a tough farm. But luckily, he has a 50% chance to drop us. You get one every other run. So let's go ahead and clear the entire playing field by scoring to my Mayhem. Switching it to 10. Apply. And then you can fight this on Mayhem 10 which would give you access to loot explosions. However, I just very much prefer to look if I shoot my gun, I still have all my buffs. Sick. Switch back to Mayhem 11. As long as you don't save quit, as long as you don't reload, as long as your reload animation does not start, like as soon as you, I think it drops to zero, I think it resets. So we're back on Mayhem 11. And we're going to be farming Scrap Trap. This is the this is how we do this run. And the, the playing field will be cleared. And we'll get a brand new set of... I Sometimes when you do the Mayhem... I think it might be every time you do the Mayhem one. You actually have to reset them this way as well. I get that music though, which makes me think it starts. I don't think it will if I run back there. Right, so we'll just tag the end of that. Now our playing field is cleared. Scrap Trap, buddy. Come on out. Okay, there we go. He's like, not this guy again. I could go... Again, I, I could try Fade Away. Or I, I could try using a different action skill. Does the stack bot... I want to check something. I actually believe that your pet can make it so that your stack bot resets. So I actually think it might be better to just not run a pet at all on Flak. And like respec. I could do that and I, I won't lose my lucky seven. So it's online, on the online page, it says that your your pet damage will, will, will reset stack bot. And I believe it because it also says grenade damage and I tested that myself. Yeah, grenade damage will reset it. I'm assuming they tested pet as well. I don't want my stack bot to get reset. Maybe going petless is the way. If I can manage it. But it's not like it's an easy of an easy thing to do. Where's this guy located? Uh so yeah, we want we do want our pet here. Just gotta stack it, it up. We can stack it up our scrap our scrap out super quick. There we go. Goodbye, scrap trap prime. Lucky seven. Decent damage, but it's not the one we are looking for. Okay. I'm going to swap my mayhem. 10. It's another farm. So do I believe in this run? Do I believe in it? Yes. I think it can go the distance. <laughs> I would love to get a terror anoint lucky seven. So that way I can run revolter. I can also run 
Frozen Heart, I can run Frozen Snowshoe, Super Soldier, Stopgap, anything like that. Trap Trap, I know you don't like to show up. That's fine. Let's try a different action skill this time. Oh, we're in Mayhem 10. Okay, yeah. After this one, we'll swap to Mayhem 11. Let's go Cryo. We're going to want Cryo. Yeah, let's do something like this. Now, you can always... What you could do is you could always farm a second shield, like a second Frozen Heart shield, instead of getting action skill start on it. But that kind of takes away the point. Like, put the... Put the Terror Emma Regen one on it. But it kind of takes away the point of using this notion in the first place. You really want to get a weapon. Your weapon to have the Terror Regen Noit on it. Although, something like consecutive hits might be strong too. Okay. We have the gun. We have the, the racks. Let's keep it going. They're on Mayhem 10 right now. This means they could have like the battle buddies or I, I I don't know my exact modifiers, but yeah, I think I have it on hearts. I have it on battle buddies. I actually had to take like the pretty like some of the easiest ones. A dead eye with weapon damage on it with a bunch of two fang. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, get out of here. Because we're spamming our action skill much more. Our ammo is going to be never ever a problem. And the auto crit is very, very nice. I do have auto crit, right? Yeah, I think I think that's uh, everything is critting. Yeah, crit, crit, crit. Let's got super luck with Mega Board. Yep. Okay, everything is fine. I almost had a panic attack there. I'm like, am I not critting? I'm like, that wouldn't make any sense. Okay. Dead eye. We have weapon damage. I mean, I, I, oh, I can't take him. I'm full. Okay. Make a pit stop at Sanctuary and unspec my pet so my stack bot never gets reset. I mean, we can get our stack bot. It's worth having our pet up anyway. Lucky seven. I see you. I see you in there. Lucky seven. Ooh, not going to be as good as mine. So let's drop some stuff. What do we say goodbye to forever? Look at my flag. He is got, he's got a large head. Um, This old lucky seven. It is a max damage one, though. These are max damage ones. I only need one max damage one. I've been saving this one as a gift for somebody else. An action skill and the 40% radiation. That's what that, that lucky seven can go. Boomer. I don't think I need this SMG either. Or this Brad luck. Hey, I think we're good. We made a little bit of space. Okay. I, I don't mind playing on Mayhem 10, but we'll, we'll switch back to Mayhem 11. Boom, boom, boom. The explosion could be useful. One thing about the Mayhem 10 to Mayhem 11 strat is that you do have to do a lot more running. Uh, putting out a snow drift could help you, but... That also slows you down because you got to equip the snow drift, so. That's why I like to clear the playing field every once in a while. All right, Pat, you and I, you and me together forever. Let's run this farm. Okay. Blast him. We flak attack it. The rack attack should not only help us clear, and I honestly think that maybe we can get away with the healing one. Healing and cryo. I think we'll be able to spam enough. Did you give me, oh, a scream of terror? I'm not too sure what that does, but it looks pretty good.
And every time I send out a rack, it'll heal me. So that's that's pretty good. Get a little more healing regen going. Oh, that's not gonna matter when I get hit like that. Rack attack me. Okay, those racks are nice. They're killing stuff. Psycho, doesn't your finger get tired? No, League of Legends player. Okay. Hang him. But luckily we got we rolled this corrosive one, because holy cow. See ya. Okay, what do we got? Boomer. A stack bot. Ooh, stack bot. Our first one. Jacob's weapon reload speed. Weapon damage. Ooh. Jacob's weapon reload speed would be a very nice addition to when I'm trying to farm. Yes, it's actually got a niche use. While well, I'm trying to um, farm for the best rerolls in my Bucky 7, stack. Put this bad boy on. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's clear the playing field a little bit. And head on out. Do 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 do. So run number eight done. We continue. We press. All right, we got all cryo racks this time. I would swap. I was, gonna, I was thinking about like, oh, may I could try a different strategy. But as soon as I try a different strategy, I lose my rolls. The lucky seven doesn't play second fiddle. Lucky seven has got major main character energy. It's like you, I do the damage. You don't need anointments. Like you don't need consecutive hits on me. You don't need a revolter. Like I got your back. It's like all you gotta do is maintain the mag. I'm like, okay, brother, gotcha. I'll figure out a way. Oh man, and it's like if you could, and I know this lucky seven's mad at me. He's like, listen, bro, you have me with like a. A whack anoint right now. What's the anoint? After exiting the iron bear, the next two magazines will have 125 bonus incendiary damage. I mean, sounds amazing. Uh, for iron bear. I wonder if re rolling this one at Crazy Earl's will reset it. I, I, I bet you it would. But I don't know for sure. later this is a fun fight tell you what and we get a bunch of vault card xp for doing this fan the hammer brother oh later kid lucky prime me oh i mean lucky seven me you you owe it to me nope all right clear this get out of here nobody ask you very cool. Let's toss out one rack attack. I love how Flack has different ways to activate his action skills. Yeah, it's not as like... It's not like the Mantis cannon. We're just like, yep, it's just a straight up upgrade to any other... One of my action skills. Because when you use rack attack, yeah, you get access to all your uh, anointments and stuff like that. But you lose fade away. You gotta really think about it. Well, I don't really need fade away in this build. Because I am auto critting. What's what's why is fade away good? Oh, auto crits. Well, what am I doing anyway? Oh, you're you're auto critting all the time. Yeah. Wait, wouldn't that be broken with stack bot? Correct. Oh. Sounds broken. Yeah, it is. But the cost, the cost is that you have to get the terror ammo regen, lucky seven going. Which honestly, to get it going like this isn't that hard. It's getting it to like um. A state where you can use whatever shield you wanted to do really push your damage to the next level with something like a revolter you have to get the terror ammo region anoint on the lucky seven until then it's perfectly usable this is I'm, what i'm doing right now is with just a, a an iron bear anoint that I, I can't even make use of the part of them doing is like as i'm doing this i'm going to be upgrading to new lucky sevens Where you going, homie? That's what I thought. Just send it, send it on him. Beautiful. Lucky seven is amazing. 
Ooh, a green monster with weapon damage and pistol damage. Oh, man. Alive. That is a monster roll. You want to get, like, a green monster, like, a light show build going on Moe's or something like that? That is... Wow. I mean, the damage reduction is... It is what it is. It's a decent tertiary roll, as they say. A third roll. Okay. Auto sell all these. Who says piercing scream around you? Damaging enemies on shield break. So the scream of terror seems like the snowshoe. Hmm. It seems just like the snowshoe, but worse because you can't. It doesn't come anointed because I don't think any of the terror weapons can come anointed. Like this gas call that I have. Where's my gas call? Yeah, this gas call. They don't come anointed. Okay, let's go. Oh, I also have to count up my runs from that, so I'm at nine now. Hit number ten. Keep it nice and clean and crisp. Remember, for every lucky seven that drops, we have a one in seventy chance for it to have the, the terror anoint. So it's really one hundred and forty runs to get one with a terror anoint on it. But if you want a max reload one or one with the specific parts, it's way more. It's way higher than that. As you can see, getting to getting to that 140 is going to be a challenge. This is not the easiest farm in the world. I mean, if I was playing as modes, I can come back here and get a whole bunch of farms done. And if I if this series goes to like an episode three or, or episode four, maybe I'll come back here with my modes and just wreck shop with the Rocketeer class mod. Go get like a corrosive or maybe, honestly just a, a fire old god would be fine. There we go. Rack attack. Ooh, the Primester. Primester got ripped. What's up, homie? Got a lucky seven for me? It's all boomers. I saw that Droog on the ground. It's gone forever. Creamer. Dude, okay, boomers. Seriously. Oh my gosh. All right, we reset. That's 10 runs. We did it. We made it to 10 runs. So if I can, if I repeat that 14 more times, on average, I will have a... A Terra Anoint Lucky 7. But to get the right parts, we're talking a whole different ball game. Okay. Let's keep the racks going every time I can. I think they do a little bit better AOE than my than my pistol. I'm pretty sure. And they heal me. There's always a nice plus. Oh. What you got for me? I am increasing my loot a little bit. A stopgap. Imagine if Flack had Flack had an ornament, though anytime he activated his attack command, he you got that uh, the shield break effects instead of it being action skill start. It'd be kinda cool. Okay. We mash and he gets dashed. That's a lucky seven. No, it's a boomer. Don't do this to me. Three runs in a row? How dare you? Hey, you're gonna get replaced if you don't stop stop getting in the way. Okay, let's run it back. Run number eleven in the books. Now that we have our our lucky seven with the proper rolls, it actually becomes a lot easier. Okay, let's do this.
doing a little bit of a just the game sounds. It's taking it all in. Hmm, going down. Not so great. Doesn't feel very good. With these, all these ghosts flying around, it becomes very challenging. Back in the day, there was no anointment of roller. This is how you used to farm. It's old school. I wanted an anointment on a gun. If I wanted a consecutive hits flipper, I had to go get a consecutive hits flipper. Back in my day. Look, look at the way I can just go as, as fast as I can. Oh, lucky seven. Uh, quite. Okay. But I appreciate you. Honestly, I kind of want a lucky seven with that anoint on it. Where'd it go? Is it right here? Because that anoint seems pretty fun. After using a attack command, consume Altera on Flak. And Flak pets gain 200% bonus incendiary for a short time. You're pretty cool. We gotta drop stuff. We have, to, we, have to, we have to make some difficult decisions here. I think all these grenades have a reason to be here. Do I have an extra, like, Hunter Seeker line around? Yeah, these ones. Get rid of these Hunter Seekers. I don't think the Scream of Terror is going to be that useful for us. Hunter Seeker. We have a Mitosis one now. That's our new... That's our new one. Green Monster. Hmm... It looks so good. I want to bring that one over to my Moe's for sure. Do I need both these stack bots? Actually. Missile damage. This one is weapon damage. I like the weapon damage one here. I think I want it there. But I'll, I'll drop this. I'll drop that one. Okay, all of our relics are extremely important. Okay. Let's go, let's go grab another one. It's going to be 12 runs in. Tell me what, what you guys think about that graphic on the left. I think it looks clean. Clean. Worked on it for a long time. Get everything the way I wanted it to be. Okay. One, once I get a... Once I get a terror... Oh, got ripped. Once I get myself a terror ammo regen lucky seven, then I can like slap on a revolter and we can make this as quick as possible. Again, I want one with max reload speed. The hardest thing about using this gun is getting the, the rolls you want. Because you, if you think about the, your chances, okay? With Flak, you want numbers 1, 3, 4, and 5. And it's a yes, no chance for all of them. So, for number 1, you have a half chance. Number 2, you have a half chance. It's a 1 in 4. Number 3, you have a half chance. It's a 1 in 8. Number 4, you have a half chance, which is 1 in 16. And number 5, you have a half chance, which is 1 in 32. That doesn't feel right to me. I think it, I think it's exponential. So it's 1 and 2, 1 and 4, 1 and 16, yeah. So in order to get 4 out of 5, in order to get 3 out of 5 correct, it's 2 times 2, which is 4, times 4 is 1 and 16. Let me know if the number is correct. Oh, I'm on one shot. Only one shot. Holy cow. Almost wrecked it. I'm trying to think about what the odds are. Somebody knows the actual lucky seven odds. Let me know. But we we can't we cannot roll number two, which is fire rate, and we need this number one and seven. And then we for this farm we definitely want corrosive here. Okay, lucky seven me. Field's getting a little bit cluttered. I think I might reset it. Yep, we're gonna have to go ahead and reset this map. Mayhem 10. 
and this way we keep our lucky seven rolls. So this is day one of the farm. This is what it takes to get the gear you want in this game. Now I could definitely go get Iridium. 17,500 Iridium does not sound like fun to me when I could just farm the same item and get Vault Card XP. So I'm trying to farm more Vault Card items as well. I have a chest available. I want to get a... I want to get an Anointed Garden Angel. I want to get an Anointed Super Soldier. I want to get an Anointed Blade Fury. Can the, if you guys can let me know if the Schluter can come anointed. So I am trying to get items. Let's actually let's open my chest. Come on. Diamond key. Oh my gosh, it actually was a diamond key. That is crazy. Okay. We don't get the reroll on the garden angel. That's fine. Okay, let's go get our reset. All of our, all of our old gear is gone, unfortunately. The doobie is what it is, doobie. I think I counted that run. I think we're good. I think 12 is what we're on. Nice grab traps. Where are you at? My ammo regen. Yeah, so I believe each time you try to roll the proper rolls, like... The odds of getting exactly what you want on a reload is I believe it's whatever 32 times 4 is. 30 times 4 is 120. 2 times 4 is 8. Is 128. 100, 1 and 128 I think is the odds for either 4 or 5 proper rolls. I think that's four. And for five proper rolls, it is 128 times four, which is something like one. Hey, Clockwork res me. So easy. Oh, I swapped weapons. Okay, this gives me a chance to, you know, actually maybe even call the video here. And then by the next day, we will come back and we will be swapping over to a different lucky seven. This one right here, that is fade away active damage very cool all right i'll see you guys then if you like this video hit the like button subscribe to see more videos like this one and i will see you all in the next one bye